You've seen this whole thing from start to finish. What does this arena mean to you? Yeah, it's pretty exciting to uh, have a premier facility here in the community. Um, you know, help us bring in bigger and better things from, you know, skating events to tournaments to, you know, hopefully drive floor events in the off season. But it's, uh, you know, it, it's just a great asset to the community to, to help all our programs grow. You know, it's been a long time coming to have a facility like this and uh, to unite all of our programs together. I just think it's huge. Um, finally, you know, we've been moving around from place to place as a high school program and even as a booster program. Now to have one place where we can all unite and be together, uh, I think it's going to be huge for hockey and I think it's huge for our community. No, it doesn't. It's definitely different and it, it's a nice feeling environment. Yeah, it just feels like home. It feels like we belong. You know, it's uh, it's an important part of, of our city. You know, I've uh, been a transplant since uh, 2004 and uh, really kind of grown uh, it with this city and seeing how the uh, the hockey community has also grown. And so there definitely was a need for ice, but it's a, an ultimate community facility that everybody's going to benefit. And um, the big winners are going to be youth hockey. You know, certainly between those prime time hours, between 4 and 10 o'clock, there's going to be ample ice time for those uh, organizations. and. It's a huge uh, benefit for them, uh, and we're just glad to be a part of it. Well, it's huge. One practice time, game time. Now we're, you know, we have almost 80 more home games this year than we had last year. So, and just the experience of, you know, it's like a pro level experience for kids to play there. You know, their faces when they get to skate there for the first time, seeing teams come in from out, parents come out, how excited they are to now come out here. We had a tough time getting teams from out east to come out here to play, and. I think that's another reason for them to come out outside of the quality hockey. I think it's a great thing for the community, um, being a figure skating coach and growing up with the rink. I think it's a huge asset to not only the hockey club, um, but also the figure skating club. More ice time for the figure skaters, more of a performance place. Um, I think it's, I like to call it like the mini Ralph because so that you get that feeling of like, you know, you walk into a nice rink that it's just well, it's an unreal facility. I think we're very lucky to call it home from a from a standpoint of our of our organization. And as a father with kids in the program, it's pretty cool to see these kids skate on the ice for the first time in the in the new arena. It's like an NHL setting for them. But overall, it's just a great thing for the community of Minot, and particularly the hockey community. Well, it certainly makes recruiting a lot easier. You know, uh, you know when you can show pictures of the new Pepsi Center and. Uh, you know, show them the locker room and things like that. That goes a long way, and it's uh, it's a great place to. That's a pretty special place. It's a special place. You know, I've been a past player uh, to be coach now, a high school program. To have uh, my own kids coming through the program, get a chance to be a part of a facility like this. Uh, it's second to none in our state, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, Hockey is an exciting thing in town right now. You know, the Toros and Minot State and us and the youth program on the rise. Uh, it just it, it just gives us that extra little uh, uh, reason to come out to the rink every weekend. Uh, you know, I think it means a lot for us. It's uh, nice to come out here and be in a brand new rink and around all the fans. So I think it means a lot to us. What else does it do? Is, do you think it's going to attract more figure skaters with more ice time and stuff like that? Do you think that's going to happen? Yes. Yes. It is very happy and very exciting. Yeah, I mean, we definitely think that, you know, the Minot Park District, you know, the city of Minot, you know, all our user groups, you know, to, that contributed to this to, you know, to make this happen, and especially the, the private donations from our community that, you know, people really stepped up to, to be able to make this happen.